Mindstorms. What are you, what are you showing here? Is you? So this year is the 15th year for the LEGO Mindstorms platform, and on Monday of this week we announced that third generation, the evolution of our product, EV3, which is the newest addition to the Mindstorms platform. We have two versions, one optimized for our own play and one optimized for classroom learning. Both base core sets allow you to build five models um, with the new enhanced brick, and then there are expansion models for both. The brick itself is, has been optimized. It now runs a Texas Instruments ARM9 processor. There's a Linux process, so it's open source. There's an SD card. There are four ports for both your motors and your sensors. Uh, it's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled now. So we this one. Um, for so I'm talking about just in general the brick. Um, there, what you'll see here in the booth are uh, examples of the different models that can be built. The two sets have the same technology and the same tech pieces, but the cosmetic differences are are apparent. Uh, they've been optimized for their own environments. So the classroom side of things. Um, is really geared towards teaching science, technology, engineering, and math concepts. Uh, the at-home play version is very much to get kids interested in robotics, learning to build and program their robots. So let's walk around. Which one are you showing this? This is the robot educator model. This is the first model that a class would build. Uh, it's designed to be up and running in 45 minutes, uh, including programming. Uh, it allows you to kind of learn the basic building concepts and the programming concepts. What's new on the retail side um, as well uh, is that you can actually command your robot with an iPad or uh, another smart device of some sort. Um, on the education side, when the product actually launches, we will be available uh, to have a smart device control as well. You program either on the brick, which is the new feature, or you program on a PC or Mac, either one. Uh, it's a graphical programming language, so it's very much been uh, optimized for a younger user. Uh, we recommend about age 10 and up uh, on the education side, definitely the middle school range, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. Uh, what you're seeing here are the retail models uh, that have been set out. We have um, new sensors in both sets. On the education side, we have a gyro sensor. On the retail side, we have an infrared sensor, which also has a beacon system, so you can control it through an IR remote. Uh, the IR sensor there receives proximity, um, the remote, and the um, sensing itself. What you're seeing here are uh, so just some demonstrations and um, discussion about the models. The education side has 30 hours of curriculum available to teach those STEM concepts. So the processor exactly, can you say which one it is? Uh, it's a Linux-based system. The um, processor is uh, Texas Instruments, Texas Instruments uh, ARM9, yes. and. The, uh, um, um, for specific pieces, we can ask Willem or Lassa, they might know. Um, yeah. He has questions specifically about the processor. He's from Denmark. Uh, he wants to know. I don't know specifics other than ARM9. I don't know beyond okay. classifications. Um, no, I'm Dutch, but I can speak Danish as well. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what is the CPU inside? Is that a OMAP 4? The CPU is an yes. ARM9 processor. ARM9? Uh, yeah, ARM9. It's not ARM Cortex C9. I think it's the ARM9 300 megahertz processor. I don't know if it's a. Uh, yeah. So, what kind of other electronics do you have in there? What is, uh, what is the upgrade between you also have from the previous one? What is yeah, the so uh, the previous one has an ARM7. This has an ARM9, so it's a lot more powerful. Then it has 60 megabytes of flash memory, where the old one had 256 kilobytes. Um, we have 64 megabytes of RAM, which is great. And then we have added like an extra output port, a USB 2.0 host, and an SD card slot. If you will, you know, need expanded memory, you can use that. And I think you can update it up to uh, 32 gigabytes of flash. So how do you choose what to do with this? How do you uh, figure out what's needed for the new version? And when did the, when did the previous version come out? The previous version, NXT, it came out in 2006. And then we had an update in 2009 with NXT 2.0. So, what, what, and what was your question? What are you going to do with it? This is the first update since 2009? Yes. All right, so where was uh, engineering? Where's happening? Denmark? It's all in Denmark. All Bilun, in Denmark? Bilun, Denmark, yeah. Are you, are you Danish? Yeah, I am. Yeah, so where do you do it? We do it in, in Bilun, Denmark. Oh, uh, the microphone is here. Oh, but he, he's, he's yeah. in development as well. So, in Bilun, Denmark? Yes. And uh, how many engineers are you? platform team is about 20 people total, isn't it? I, I wouldn't, I don't know the exact number, no. All right. And uh, is there some Linux going on inside, embedded Linux? Yeah. 
um, and we build a, a Lego app, app on top of that so the children they will never get exposed to Linux but if you're a hacker and you want to build on top of that you, ca you can so it's like uh, it gives more flexibility but for the children they're not really interested in Linux but I know there's a lot of uh, sort of adult fans out there who are so can you show it a bit more? Yeah, um, I don't know, I guess this one is going to turn around. I can... Uh... I can show this one being remote controlled. Or I can show it actually the where it's going to follow me around, so... Uh... How does it follow you? It has an infrared system, so I'm just going to take this... Yeah, I'm going to take this beacon right here. I don't know if it's, yep. If I turn it on, it's gonna try and maintain a heading and a, and a distance to me. Yeah. So and when it when it hits a, a target heading and a target proximity, it's gonna shoot at me. So when I go a little bit closer, he's gonna back up. So if I'm moving around. So it's, it, it can follow me around and or you know, so it's sort of uh, it's really cool. Nice. What is that Okay, so this, this model is remote controlled through, uh, through apps. So we have apps for iOS and Android devices. This, for example, is controlled by accelerometer on the phone. So we utilize the accelerometer on the phone. And I can actually do uh, gestures so I can make him rattle by shaking the phone. I can make him bite by uh, striking with the phone. And also, while he's, uh, he's being remote controlled, he's still interactive by himself. So he still senses his own sensors. That's so insanely awesome. Uh, this is out? all from the retail kit, yeah. How much is the retail kit? The retail kit is uh, 350 uh, US dollars. Second, I, Danish crowns, how Oh, we, we don't have a Danish price yet. How about this one? This is a this is, uh, Scorpion. So this, this Scorpion model, uh, I can remote control him right now, but he can walk. Let me just do it like this. So you can see he moves his legs. He has a grabber in front as well that can open and close. And he has a, sh a tail that can shoot. Shoot? It can shoot. Let me just. Alright. So, how long did it take you to design all this? Oh, uh, this has been under development for a couple of years now. So. People can invent the Yeah, we, we basically try to inspire people to do uh, their own creations with the set. So what we do is we, uh, the models are built up in, in larger steps. So for the Scorpion, for example, you start by building just the tail. For the, for the tank bot, you build just the platform. So try to inspire kids to build on top of our base models. So really, yeah, we really want to inspire kids to do their own things. So what is, this, what is the success of Mindstorm so far? The what? Historically, how, how big is Mindstorm? How, how big it is? Oh, I have, no, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm a developer, so all, the, all of those figures. Uh, I mean, it's being used worldwide. It's a huge you, success, no? it, It's and, amazing, and man. We're so positive. This is the third generation. This is... This is, this is a big step, it's a very big step. One of the biggest steps, especially for the hacker community, is now that this is a Linux box. So this is now, the software on this P brick is now as modular as Lego bricks itself. So people can easily telnet into this and, and start hacking. It even has an SD card slot and a USB host port. So, right here. 
Yeah. SD card slot to extend the uh, the memory. Wi-Fi inside. So you can uh, we have Wi-Fi drivers in there, so you can attach a Wi-Fi dongle, so it can connect to the internet. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. There's Bluetooth in there. You can connect this. No, 2.0. Yeah, I think. So uh, and the retail set mobiles. mobiles are connected through Bluetooth. We have an iOS verification chip, so we can communicate with iOS devices. We can also communicate between bricks, so we can have seven connections between bricks in there. We also introduced what we call daisy chaining. What is the connection between the bricks? What do you mean? So I can connect with Bluetooth from this device to this device. Ah, between the main box, not, between the, not to the bricks. Between the brains. Oh, oh sorry, I, I, I'm, calling this, I'm calling this a P-brick, so a programmable brick. But they don't have any uh, intelligence in, no. inside the Legos yet. No, no. It's not like sensor stuff, uh, what's called? We have, we have, well, this is a sensor brick. Yeah. So this is our new sensor. This actually is three sensors in one. So it, it can detect proximity, as you see here on the snake. If I hold my hand in front of it, he'll attack. It can also be remote controlled, like you can see Willem is doing down here. Willem is remote controlling it with a beacon we have right there. So this comes in the set as well. This is a basic IR remote control. And also, the sensor can be turned on in beacon mode. Well, it can actually. Yeah, he did that before. Wait, he did that before. Okay. Can you do it to your iPhone? Is that the idea? Yeah. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. What are you gonna do after? Oh, I can't tell you. <laughs> what, is the, what is the ideas you have? Like. Uh, I can't tell you. Levitating Legos. Legos gonna kill me if I tell you. Yeah. Like uh, transparency. <laughs>